Agile Designer allows you to do many things at once using one tool. So from one input, you create multiple outputs, which of course results in less language hops and less product hops, which uh, improves quality and reduces time. So for this demo, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we automatically build automation scripts. OK, so for this example, we're going to take a look at uh, automatically creating Gherkin or Cucumber scripts. Now, uh, Cucumber, or uh, Gherkin as the language, is very popular. Um, you know, it's easy to read, but you still have the same problems in terms of, not, you know, not <clears throat> really understanding your coverage. And also you do get an awful amount of sort of duplicate test cases as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take a look at our little song streaming example. Um, and what we do is we just go to our configuration and make sure we're connected to our Cucumber config. And what we have here are basically a bunch of components and these are obviously <coughs> relatively straightforward they're not sort of code snippets under the uh, <coughs> that we can also do but what that means then is when we come in to here what we will do for our here we have Wi-Fi capable we've got true or false and then for automation all we really have to do is just put a cucumber when associated with our data nodes and if we take a look at our data nodes and what you'll see here is Wi-Fi capable and Wi-Fi not Wi-Fi capable. So so far so good. Now what we can do now is um, we're just going to take a look at our test cases, and we have seven of them. Um, and let's just have a quick look to check our coverage. And you can see we've got 100% coverage, um, and we're now going to export our test cases. So we'll click on the export, um, and again we're going to go to automation. And what you'll see now is in fact I'll just merge these up so uh, let's just copy that and do merged now what you'll see is that we we've, we've created the uh, gherkin scripts basically out of the diagram so you could actually run this in and uh, you know um, use a cucumber automation framework um, you know just literally store this script and you could run this as is. So this is the idea of actually being able to use, um, you know, the flow charting or the process model to be able to build the Cucumber scripts. Now, of course, the real advantage comes uh, when you actually come to um, making a change to your requirements document, which happens all the time. Under normal circumstances, you'd have to go back through all of your existing cu Cucumber scripts and, you know, see if they actually make any sense. But what we're going to do now is we're going to come back in and we're going to add in a new decision, uh, which is Wi-Fi uh, turned on. And we're just going to say, let's just say, uh, turn it on or leave it off. OK, so we've now got some decisions. And what I'm going to do, just make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to take this decision and I'm just going to drop it on here. And I'm going to come over to here and I'm just going to say turn it on. Um, otherwise, we're just going to carry on down to connected to 4G like we had before. So we've made a change. We do have to make one more change inside. So we've got uh, our output details. Um, so just on my data notes, which is what I'm using to put out to the, Ger uh, uh, to the Gherkin scripts. So turn on Wi-Fi for that one and leave Wi-Fi off. So that's good. And then the other thing, we actually need to attach our automation activities to this block. So this is just one final step. So we come to our automation, turn it on. We're going to click on Add. Uh, we're going to click on, uh, it's already picked, actually, Cucumber. It's a when statement. And we're going to pick when notes. Click on that. We're just going to do the same for this one as well. And we're now good to go. So first things first, let's just see um, take a look at our existing test cases. So we'll have a look at them. It's detected that this one's now broken. So using standard Agile Designer technology, it will just repair that one. Um, but of course, what you have now, if you go back to our dollar, you'll see we actually, we're missing some coverage. Surprise, surprise. And sure enough, we need to actually test the uh, turn on the Wi-Fi. So now if we go back over to Wi-Fi turned on, go back into our optimizer, um, and I'm going to click Add to Existing Paths, All Edges, which makes sure, make sure I get the decisions. I'm going to store this, and I'm just going to call it 
turn on Wi-Fi. We'll just give it that the name of the test case. And now what we're doing, going to do is to go off and have a look at our Cucumber scripts and pick our automation scripts like so. Click on Export and turn on Wi-Fi. When turn on Wi-Fi now appears in the scripts. And now we can basically just create a brand new set of Cucumber scripts which will fully cover all the potential combinations uh, of this particular process. So to summarize up and how you could actually use this, so the idea would be that your BA or maybe your power user, um, users who are very technically adept, would basically build a process flow in terms of how they would like the system to work. Um, those are verified. Um, the information is then put out to something uh, products like Rally. Your programmer starts to begin uh, working and coding and building the system. At the same time, your tester gets involved and designs the test cases. And then once we've got our automation activities um, defined, we can attach them then to the uh, to the flowchart. We will then automatically create all the scripts and we will then uh, run the regression tests. Um, in fact, you know, uh, using this methodology, there really isn't any reason to actually do any manual testing. You can actually just use the regression tests uh, to exhaustively test your application. Um, if there's any problems, you give it back to the programmer, as we have in this particular case. Um, or what we could do is just, uh, in effect, release and return the data, uh, release and return uh, the flowchart back to the business analyst, and the code can then be released in production. And these regression tests can then be used to drive continuous development and continuous integration.